having a healthy weight is gonna keep you safer from wasting. It's not a guarantee, but it's definitely gonna keep you safer. Is all weight equal? No. If you wanna hold on to weight the longest, you need muscle mass. Muscle mass is going to uh, waste way slower than fat will. Um, so we wanna make sure that we're getting out there, we're getting our exercise. It's very important too uh, that we keep our heart rates really like nice and even because our medicines can cause spikes in heart rates, they can cause fluctuations. Those kinds of things can make us dizzy. They can actually, if combined with other things such as uh, recreational drugs or other issues that people might uh, have in their uh, lives at that moment, we can actually suffer a heart attack easier because of our medicines causing a spike in our blood pressure. Our blood pressure tends to go up. So this is something that we want to keep in mind. Um, vegetables and fruits, diet, that plays into blood pressure, that plays into your weight, that plays into your overall feeling. I don't know if anybody here has ever noticed, but after you eat a salad, you feel kind of good. Eating a salad's not so good in my opinion, but sometimes I'll do one because I'm like, I need the vegetables. Um, when uh, I say eat your vegetables too, it's really important to know that there is more out there than canned vegetables. Uh, fresh vegetables are so much more nutritious. Uh, if you're gonna get frozen vegetables, try and get ones that are flash frozen. Um, but if you can, fresh vegetables are where it's at. You wanna get a variety, you want colors. Colors in your diet mean that you're getting a well-rounded and balanced diet. That's very helpful in your body because again, we're taking medicines that are making our bodies toxic. We've gotta do whatever we can to make that better. We have to help the homeostasis, the regulation in our bodies as much as we can by being as healthy as possible. Uh, meats and proteins. So again, meats and proteins are going to help us to put on muscle mass. If somebody is HIV positive and they are a vegetarian, I highly recommend that they really get into their soy and start doing what they can to up their protein intakes. It's really important that you have muscle mass. It's also really important for energy. Uh, fattening foods and sugary foods, they give us a lot of energy, but it tends to go away really fast. The caloric value of them is really, it's poor. Um, when you have proteins, that's a much more difficult chain for the body to break down, uh, and it lasts longer and provides more energy. So let's also talk about coping skills because that's a big part of health. Um, and also a big part of self-image. So coping mechanisms. A coping mechanism is something that we utilize in our daily lives to help us get through moments. We all have coping mechanisms. There are people in here right now using coping mechanisms I can see. I'm a behavior analyst. I'm not sitting here analyzing everybody's behavior, but I know a coping mechanism when I see one. So for instance, let's say somebody is having a hard time with uh, what they are processing. They might do something like one like this, like, oh my God. We rub our temples. This is a coping skill. We also do this when we have a headache. Gets us through the moment. We don't always have access to the, the Tylenol or the Midol or whatever it is that we need to help with the headache. And by the way, Midol is fantastic for a headache. Get over yourselves, guys. It's a really good pill for that. <laughs> but, um, the coping skills that we use in our daily lives may or may not be working for us. And so it's really important to kind of check in and see how well they are working. Uh, one thing that I do when I speak is I tend to kind of move my foot around. If this didn't help me, I would probably have to find something else. I know a lot of public speakers keep a thumb in their pocket and they move their thumb back and forth. This is a subtle way to cope and get through the moment. We all have our coping skills. If you have coping skills and you know what they are, evaluate whether or not they're working for you and build on them if they are, make them even more effective. If they're not working for you, seek other forms of coping. Also try and recognize whether or not your coping skills are actually causing further problems. A lot of my clients are on the autism spectrum and uh, for clients on the autism spectrum, coping is a major issue. And one thing that I've seen for people who spend almost too much time engaging in coping mechanisms is that they start to lose track of what's going on in the real world. So again, you have to have effective coping mechanisms. 
Effective coping mechanisms are ones that you can use, they work, they make you feel better, they get you through not just a short moment, but ideally through the day. That's a good coping skill. At least through that, the next moment until something new happens. You wanna get through at least that. So some potential coping skills. Positive self-talk. I'm awesome, I can do this, I can get through this, I rock. These are things I tell myself, and my friends sometimes, they give me crap, because they're like, are you really sitting here saying this to yourself? And I'm like, you know what? I do rock, and that's why you're hanging out with me, so what's up? It, you get, just sometimes gotta own it, and you gotta really feel that about yourself. If you don't let yourself love yourself, you're not going to survive having HIV. You have to love yourself and you have to be able to cope. So tell yourself you're awesome. And don't just tell yourself that, but believe it. So how can you believe it? I mean, it's telling myself I'm awesome doesn't work if I don't believe it, right? It's just a script. So go through, figure out what the accomplishments in your life are. Figure out what made you awesome. What, what is it that has gotten you through? You have survived through to this point, and we'll talk more about that in a little bit, but what has gotten you through this moment? Something has, something you're doing is working. So you are awesome. So keep telling yourself that.